Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth, you're watching Beautiful Journey, and today I'm just going to be sharing a little bit of the history on how we first heard about teaching textbooks and why we started using them. Then I'm going to give you five or six reasons why we are still using them several years later and why we love them so much. So in 2011, my daughter was just finishing up with second grade and math was really becoming a struggle for her. Um, she hated it, she dreaded it, and there was tears almost on a daily basis. And so my husband and I knew we didn't want to continue with the curriculum we were using, but we weren't sure what we wanted to use. There was so much out there. And that same year, we ended up going to a homeschool conference in Ohio, and that is when we first heard about teaching textbooks. And we were able to speak with a representative and look through the books and actually see a lesson on the computer. And so we kind of thought right away, huh, this really might be an answer to our prayers and a godsend for us. So we decided to try it and we have not looked back since. We love it. It's worked really well for our family. It's been a great addition to our homeschool. And good news, my daughter really enjoys math now and it's really clicking for her and she's understanding the material that's being presented. So it's just been such a blessing in our homeschool. All right, so five reasons why we love teaching textbooks. Reason number one is they have awesome customer service. Now, it is always free shipping when you order, and um, it's, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you try it and decide it's really not gonna be a good fit for your family, you can return it for a full refund. And also, um, anytime I've had to call for, with any issue, they've been extremely friendly, and they've resolved my problem quickly with no questions asked. All right, my second reason is that I don't have to teach the lessons. And for a busy homeschool mom of eight kids, that is awesome news. Even if you have one or two kids that you're homeschooling, it really frees you up to work with another student or do something else that you are needing to accomplish in that time. And um, this is leading me into reason number three, they have automated grading, which takes a lot of the work off of the teacher and it's all there, guys. All of the grading for the, t the lessons, the quizzes, and the tests are all stored in the CDs. And you can even print them out if you need a paper copy. All right, my fourth reason is that you buy the CDs once and then you can reuse them for as many children as you want after that. You can even resell them, which makes this curriculum extremely affordable. All right, reason number five is that this is really well-made and quality curriculum. The math information is totally up to date. It is funny and engaging. My kids laugh out loud sometimes at some of the um, word problems and the examples that they use. So there you go, guys. That is just a little bit of the history on how we started using teaching textbooks and why we like them so much. There's a lot of other reasons that I could list, but I wanted to stick to five or six to keep this video from being too long. I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what you get when you order, and then I'm gonna take you to the teaching textbooks website. Then I'm gonna show you an actual sample lesson on one of the CDs. So here is a look at what comes with the Teaching Textbooks Math 3, and these are the CDs. And then you would also get an answer booklet, and then this is the actual consumable workbook. And um, here is a look at Lesson 1. And so your child will uh, listen to the lecture, they'll have some practice problems, and then they will move on to the actual problem set. All right, so here I am on the Teaching Textbooks website, and as you can see, it starts from Math 3 and goes all the way up to Pre-Calculus. And if you are unsure of where your child should start, then they also have placement tests, which is a great option for you as well. Now, I'm in the Frequently Asked Questions uh, page, and they've got some great information on here. Um, the website is teachingtextbooks.com if you'd like to go and check them out. They answer lots of different questions and uh, it's just a very uh, well laid out website. All right, so I went ahead and I clicked on Math 3 and this just gives you some information. It's always free shipping, which is another great uh, feature that they offer. And you can just buy the, the CDs if you would like to. 
and there's a little bit of the product description and the product details and then some reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to show you an actual lesson on our Teaching Textbooks 3. All right, so here I am on Math 3. I've inserted the Math 3 disk into our computer and I'm going to click on my son's name. I am going to type in his password and give you a look at Lesson 1. So here we have Lesson 1 and this is really fun. This is just an extra thing that my kids enjoy doing. And you can click on a I'm different a different interactive uh, character that will kind of do math with your child as they go along. So I'm going to click on lecture. Lesson one, simple additions and subtractions. You may already know that when you add zero to a number, the number stays the same. See, here's four plus zero. And this just equals four. Why don't you do one? What's and you can pause it, and you can uh, go back. You can rewind it. You can go on to the next. So I just clicked on next. Here is the practice A. Now my son has already done these. Um, let me click off of here so you can see the practice A problem. Enter in the the answer, and then you can check it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the grade book. And as you can see here, this is for lesson number one. And my son did, there were 22 problems. He completed 22 and he got 22 correct for a total of 100%. And it goes through from the first all the way to the, to the last lesson. And then we click on quizzes. Um, you can see for each quiz uh, how many... Again, how many problems, the number completed, and then how many he got correct for score, you know, his total score. All right, I'm also going to show you how easy it is to add another student. I'm clicking on the parent link. I'm going to type in my password. Whoops. Wrong button. So I'm going to type in my password and it gives you these options here. I would like to add another student, so I'm gonna click on that. I'm going to type in my student's name. I am going to type in the password and it's easy as that. Now you can also change or delete a student account, change parent password, or get into the gradebook. So I'd like to get into gradebook for Carson. And so again, this is just uh, just a great place to have all of the grades all in one spot and ready to go. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope this information was helpful for you. If you are not familiar with teaching textbooks and have maybe been wondering about them for a while, I encourage you to check them out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. And don't forget too, there's a lot of information on their website and I will leave their website in the information down below. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.